Okay, so today um, we are going to be um, drawing our own graph here uh, from an equation, okay? And the equations we're going to look at today are in what's called vertex form. So vertex form is y equals, I'm going to make sure you get this down, y equals a, and then a parenthesis, x minus h squared, plus k. So you can kind of see it in that first example there, the x plus 5 squared minus 3 right below, okay? So we're going to have numbers filled in for a and h and k, and then y and x are going to stay as variables. The vertex is going to be at h comma k. And the key trick with that one is that x lies. x lies. So whatever the x, whatever number is in there with the x value, we're always going to switch that. So the trick they say is x lies. I know my ex lied all the time. That's why she's my ex. Get it? Okay. Now the y is going to tell the truth. So that one we're not going to switch, okay? So we'll see that. We'll see several examples of that, okay? All right, the line of symmetry, or sometimes called the axis of symmetry, is going to be at x equals h. This is actually the same as it was yesterday. When we talked about this, we said that the, the line of symmetry was always from the x value of the vertex. And so that's still the case here, okay? One more thing I want to add here. I'll slow down a second. All right, so one more thing I want to add. If A is positive, it opens up. And if A is negative, it's going to open down. Okay, so let's take a look at number one then. And we're going to identify all this stuff over here, and then we're going to go ahead and draw our graph. So we're going to start off here with the vertex. So the vertex is always a point. So we look at the number inside the parentheses and then also the number outside. Those are your x and y values. But remember that the x lies. And so it's instead of positive 5, it's actually going to be negative 5. And then for the y value, remember y tells the truth. So that's going to be negative 3. So I just got that from the numbers in the equation. x lies. Y tells the truth, okay? Now we know the line of symmetry is always the X value of the vertex, so that's just negative 5.
<clears throat> I want to talk about A on this one. So A, you can see, is the number multiplying in front of the parentheses. Now, this one's kind of a trick question, but can someone tell me in this one, what is A? It's an invisible number. Multiplying in front of the parentheses. Danny on it he says one and i agree okay so if you have no number in front of the parentheses it's always one it's kind of like when we have x it's really one x which means it opens up that's based on that last piece of info i said if a is positive it opens up if a is negative it opens down Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and graph my vertex here, negative 5 comma negative 3, like that. All right, and I'm not super stressed at how it looks like this, but we know it's opening up. That, that really is important, but other than that, I'm just going to make kind of a parabola as best I can. That's good enough. <clears throat> now there's, um, oh, I forgot about this. Okay, max or min value. So first of all, is it a max or a min value? Well, well, we look at the y value of the vertex and we think to ourselves, is the vertex the lowest point on the graph or the highest point on the graph? I think it's clear it's the lowest point on the graph. So I'm going to say this is the min value. Really, anytime it opens up, that's a min value. Anytime it opens down, that's a max value. And then that's going to be uh, <clears throat> the y value of the vertex, negative 3. That, again, is kind of the same thing we did yesterday. Once we have the graph, we can look at it like that, okay? All right. Um, last thing I want to do is the, oh, it says x-intercepts, if possible, and how many. So we don't actually need to list the x-intercepts because it's kind of hard to see on this one if we didn't draw it perfectly. Here's what I'm just going to say for that one. I'm just going to say there are two x-intercepts. So for these ones for now, let's just say how many there are. Is there one or two or zero? In this case, I can see that it is going to hit twice. I'm not exactly sure where they are, but I'm just going to say that, okay? And then last piece of information I'm going to do here is the y-intercept. Now the y-intercept I actually do want to calculate. So let's go back up here and let's write down how to find the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, you just plug in zero for x. You plug in zero for x, okay? So I wrote that right there for the y-intercept, plug in 0 for x. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for this one. So we get y equals 0 plus 5 squared minus 3. So I just plugged in 0 for x, and now I'm going to do my PEMDAS. So we do inside the parentheses first. Then we do exponents. And then we do subtraction. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, we're going to go ahead and do numbers four and five next. So if you want to start thinking about number four, you can go ahead. I'm going to pause here for 30 seconds, make sure everyone's caught up. But you want to start listing some information for number four. Then you can feel good that you did it yourself. All right, number four. Okay, so number four, first of all, let's do vertex. So vertex, I'm gonna say is at two comma four. Remember that's X lies and then Y tells the truth. Okay, um, I'm going to say A is negative 1 in this case, which means it opens down. It's negative 1 because we have that negative in front of the parentheses. All right. I know my line of symmetry is at x equals 2. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and draw it now. So 2 comma 4, I got my vertex right there. And then I know it opens down. It's going to look something like that. All right. I see that the vertex is the highest point. So I'm going to say it's a max value. the maximum value, and that's always the y value of the vertex. I see that it has two x-intercepts. I'm not positive where they are, but I know it's gonna hit that twice. <clears throat> And then let's find the y-intercept, which we're going to plug in 0 for x. Do my PEMDAS here. So do inside the parentheses first. I'm actually not allowed to switch minus minus to plus plus here because technically this is like a negative one that's multiplying here. So since that's multiplying, I can't do it until after the parenthesis, or sorry, after the exponent. So I'm going to do the exponent next. So negative two squared is actually positive four. And the y-intercept is actually at zero here, which if you look at my graph, it actually does look like it probably hit there at zero, the y-axis at the origin.
All right, one more, number five, and then we'll get on to our puzzle piece. I'm going to pause here for 30 seconds, but if you want to go ahead on number five and take a look, see if you can do it on your own. All right, so number five, we got vertex is at three comma negative two. I have an A value here of two. Which means it opens up so I can go ahead and draw it there so three comma negative two opens up Got our line of symmetry is at the x value of the vertex, so that's three. Since it opens up, the vertex is the minimum value that you can see on the graph too at the lowest point. So that's gonna be y equals negative two. I see that this one has two x-intercepts. And then for our y-intercept, we'll go ahead and plug in 0 for x. And do our PEMDAS. Oopsie, that's not right. <clears throat> y equals 16 is what I got from my y-intercept. If you take a look at my graph, these things do get steep really fast, so you can kind of imagine that keep going up here and I'll hit the y-axis that's up at 16.